Hi, grade 12s. We are going to learn about the nutrients that plants get from fertilizers. Do you know why farmers and gardeners sometimes add fertilizers to their fields and gardens? You know that there are many essential primary and secondary nutrients that plants need. But these days, there is an ever-increasing need for more and more food. Since the primary nutrients are needed in large amounts, the soil cannot produce them within a short period of time. Farmers use fertilizers. They have to work out very carefully what fertilizers to use. The quantity of each primary nutrient is represented in a ratio within a fertilizer bag. You have probably seen a NPK compound fertilizer bag. It contains NPK numbers in a ratio. For example, 5 is to 1 is to 2, and 20 in brackets. Let's find out what each number represents. Although nitrogen-based fertilizers are useful in adding nitrogen-containing compounds to the soil, plants also need to receive phosphorus and potassium from fertilizers. For this reason, you will find three numbers printed on the labels of most bags of industrially made fertilizers. These are the NPK numbers, indicating the proportion of nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium in the fertilizer. In this lesson, we will investigate how to interpret the NPK numbers and find out more about the essential industrial processes involved in making NPK fertilizers. Our friend Keke is out in the field again today, so let's begin by joining her and visiting a nursery to have a closer look at different fertilizers. Notice that different bags of fertilizers have a ratio of three numbers and then a fourth number in brackets. Hmm. So, what do these numbers 2, 3, 2, 16 actually mean? I think we should speak to the nursery man and find out. Hi. 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 How are you? I'm fine, how are you? <laughs> I'm good, thank you. Please, do explain to us, what do these numbers that you've got on the fertilizer bags mean? Of course, uh, these are NPK numbers or NPK ratio. We use different types of fertilizer at different times of the year to help different types of plants get the right nutrients. Hmm, okay. So, what would you use this fertilizer, 2, 3, 2, 4? That fertilizer has an equal proportion of nitrogen mm -hmm. and potassium. So it will encourage leaf growth because of the nitrogen mm -hmm. and protect your plant from disease because of the potassium. The higher proportion of phosphorus would encourage root and flower growth too. Okay, so what about This fertilizer with NPK of 18246. Now, that is a good starter fertilizer. It will encourage leaf growth and root development. So, you know me, Dana Selokshini. <laughs> we like our green grass. Eh? So, what kind of fertilizer would I use to have a very, very green lawn? Well, most lawn fertilizers have a high nitrogen content. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, would you use a fertilizer like ammonium nitrate or urea? Yeah, yeah, of course. I would use both because both fertilizers have a high nitrogen content. The NPK ratio for ammonium nitrate is 3400. Mm -hmm. And urea, they are 4600. Now, the numbers confirm that both these fertilizers only contain... Nitrogen. Nitrogen. <laughs> now, I prefer a, a more balanced approach to... That, that contains all three primary uh, nutrients. Okay. Like this one. With the NPK ratio of 25... 515. Now this one, my sister, it is going to give you a nice, lovely green lawn, protect your roots, and make the plant healthy. Wow. Thank you so much for your time. This has been great. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thanks. Uh. Thanks, KK. That was great. 
But there's still one chemistry question that's been bothering me. On the fertilizer bags, we saw the three NPK numbers, but we haven't yet explained what the number in brackets tells us. We know that the first number stands for the proportion of nitrogen, the second number is the proportion of available phosphorus, and the third number is the proportion of available potassium. The number in brackets indicates the percentage of nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium present in any sample of the fertilizer. So, 16% of the contents of this bag of fertilizer is made up of the primary plant nutrients. The other 84% is made up of filler material that may include other micronutrients. We can use the NPK numbers like 232 2 and the bracket 16 to do a more accurate chemical calculation to convert the ratio into percentages of each primary nutrient. The first thing to recognize is that the combined nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium make up seven parts. Two parts nitrogen, three parts phosphorus and two parts potassium. In this fertilizer, the number in brackets tells me that only 16% of the mixture in the bag contains available nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. Let's calculate the actual percentage of nitrogen first. Keke, you're good with numbers. Remember, nitrogen is the first number, two, and there are seven parts. So nitrogen is two out of seven parts. We multiply this by 16, which gives a nitrogen percentage of 4,57% of the total bag, rounded to two decimal places. Can you do the same calculation for phosphorus and potassium? We'll do the math so you can compare answers. The percentage of available phosphorus is 3 out of 7 times 16, which equals 6,85% rounded to two decimal places. And the available potassium is 2 out of 7, which gives us 4,57% rounded to two decimal places. The percentages of both phosphorus and potassium are not the percentages for the element, but for the oxides. These are soluble, making them available for plants to absorb. So in reality, a bag of 232 that has the number 16 in brackets after the NPK numbers contains the actual percentages of 4,57% nitrogen, 6,85% phosphorus pentoxide and 4,57% potassium oxide. In our example, 5 is to 1 is to 2. The NPK ratio shows the contents of the bag, which is 5 of 8 parts are nitrogen, 1 of 8 parts is phosphorus, and 2 parts of 8 are potassium. The 20 in brackets stands for the total content of the primary nutrients in the bag that is pure fertilizer. This means that the rest of the bag consists of 80% other nutrients. Now, let's calculate the percentage of each nutrient in the bag. If the ratio is given, we will use our example. Calculate the amount of nitrogen if its ratio is 5 and the total ratio is 8. To calculate, we say 5 divided by 8 multiplied by 20, which is equal to 12,5%. To calculate the percentage for phosphorus, we say 1 divided by 8 multiplied by 20 which is equal to 2,5%. To calculate the percentage for potassium, we say 2 divided by 8 multiplied by 20, which is equal to 5%. These answers mean that the content of the bag has 12,5% nitrogen, 2,5% of phosphorus, and 5% potassium. Grade 12, this lesson showed how to understand the nutrients in different bags of fertilizers and how to calculate percentages of each nutrient. Please check for more information in the Fertilizer Industry Series Guide and other video about fertilizers at www.mindsearch.co.za. Also try some of the questions in the task video. Goodbye.